lowered the graphical demand of this game. And let's see what happens. Oh, I've got a coffee refill too. It's great. But it's still, still pink. It's Glen Cairn. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, Outlander takes place. Could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I really don't really care. Alright. Go kart action. Screen of loading. Supposedly, if I hit the gas at 42 seconds of the green light, nothing happens. Right. And we might have some usable frame rates on this one. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. Wow. Ugh. Wow. Adjust myself. Eh. Engage the asshole. Uh, 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 uh. I don't plan on losing this. This is for the go kart championship, man. This is important. from my pit crew guy. It's usually like, that was a good thing to overtake. Ah! Ah! Getting raped here! Ah! Ah! Yeah. Sucks. Ah, oh, it's only a five lap race. First, and fourth, though, which is good. In the world of motorsports, only the top eight gets points. Well, it could have been worse. 
Rangers. David Hawkins. Starts. Go. He's getting tired of one up. My God. My God. Uh, uh. The grass just pulls you in. Socks. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, cut a track. Going down, David Hawkins. so quiet. It's kind of hard to focus and talk. Win! Oh, seven lap race, man. Ooh. by the grass. Rape is not funny, boys and girls. turned off or I'm sucking that bad somehow. Not worth the comment of the pit leader. No. No. He's fired. Deported. Hey. My gear. It's kind of mildly difficult. It's like so many turns. You don't know my life. You don't know the struggle. 
Oh my god. So many turns. Last lap, yo. Let's see if I back and fuck this up. Work riders! Woo! David Hopkins. Alright. Points lead, yo. that tournament. Awesome. <laughs> Loving everything about Matthew Hammock's attitude this season. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Another part change. So. Yeah. And one, round three of five. Holy shit. Okay. Do, 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 do. do this. Chesterfield, United Kingdom. That track just looks evil. Oh my god. Oops. Yeah. Should be interesting. Lovely English weather. Out of my way, purple go kart. This is mine. <clears throat> Holy shit. Oh my god. Cut the track, you piece of shit. Ah, 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 going into the grass. I think I might be somewhat familiar with this track. Hmm, maybe. Maybe it'll help. Probably not. Shit! Mom! Purple Ranger back there. Stupid purple go kart. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm. Uh -uh. All those NVIDIA signs. NVIDIA really is the best. Opinion alert. So A and D's coming out some new shit. That's cool. Good for them. We'll sell it to Intel before too long. It is where, you know, dual core and subsequently quad core technology came from was A and D. Fun story. Way back in 2003? 2004. When I was in the Air Force, one of my instructors there was a, uh, a weekend warrior, you know, he was reserve. And his civilian job, his day job, was one of the uh, scientist guys at AMD. And, you know, 
us. It's, you know, we're stuck in training. Who are we going to talk to? He was telling us about the new processors coming out. And see, they hadn't even announced Dual Core back then. Two processors at the same time. That was unheard of. You had to be like MIT or something and like hack together two motherboards to get two processors to work together. Anyways, he's one of the scientists over there in the and he's telling us about the new dual core processors coming in. And they basically had the architecture worked out and they're just working on the heating issues because so that shit runs hot, right? So that was cool. See, then the top processor was the Pentium 4. Another cool story. It's hard to look it up and there's not much information on it, but there was a 4 gig Pentium 4, 4 gigahertz processor. The Air Force had one. And the little office computers downstairs, Pentium 4, 4 gigahertz. I drooled over those things. Yeah, so anyways. 4 gigahertz didn't last long, and there are very few of them. And by the time I got out of the Air Force and came back home, we had uh, dual core processors, and the rest is history. And of course, Intel bought the dual core technology from AMD. So, this new Ryzen shit, it's pretty cool. I'm sure it, Intel will buy it, the technology anyway. Or who knows? <clears throat> they may have their own shit up their sleeves. It's a tough market out there, folks. Rolling starts. Gotta love them. Not. Go! And up there. That's not purple, that's blue. Where's the purple go for? Yeah. Cut track, what? Back. How's that for a cutting track, asshole? Pretty sure the first lap time doesn't count anyway. Although it was a going slow. What distance? He likes to save me. Anyways. That instructor in the Air Force, he was pretty cool. Pretty chill guy. He wasn't necessarily in the business of yelling at you like everybody else was. That guy being a weekend warrior, he had a hell of a ring, man. He was like a chief master sergeant. Yeah. That dude has stripes on top of stripes. He just deserved. Which, from what I've seen, apparently you're human deserve. I mean, you get rain. You know, they just give that shit away. You know, nobody retires. I had a brother that's in the church. At the risk of him calling dad and crying, planning that I mentioned him online. That's all I'm gonna say. So that's all I'm gonna say is Hi brother! I love my brothers. Kind of have. Other than the fact that you have to. They got their quirks. I don't suppose I would change anything. And I'm sure they highly recruited me. Of course. I'm a favorite brother. Go with that. It's 
the internet. It's the Trump presidency. It's all about making the truth whatever you want. Yeah, my brothers prefer me over each other. That's an alternative thought, but so we'll go with that. It's good shit. No, I'm serious. Thank you. And I would also like to say hi to my other brother, the one who won't call crying to dad. Uh, I'll say hi. You might eventually see this someday. You're more likely to see it than the other brother who will cry to dad. And to the brother who will cry to dad, don't call dad. Hi, the one he's, he's got better things to do. You can call me. It's all right. You can, in fact, you can even call me names. That's all right, too. It's not all bad. Well, it's bad. It's just like, okay. What do you want me to do, bud? Domination, yo. Continue. Torch Riders! Yeah, woo! Antonio Biachi. I made you my Biatch. Biatch. Okay. The jokes are just built in here. Gilo. I'm determined to do this whole circuit on camera. Invitation email from Arrow Bull. Where do I sign? Still don't see arrow. Sorry. Come on, let's arrow over here. <laughs> Summerton, USA. <laughs> Back in the States, yo. So just no, get out of my way. It's like, here I come. Get out of my way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. It's kind of hard to dominate when they're in the way. I didn't get a cut trap violation on that? Well, don't they just suck? around you. Promise it'll be okay. Ah, there's the purple pride. Ah, ah. Yes. See you, purple guy. It's blue. No, it's purple. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a purple. Let's have a jeep that was purple. You can tell if it's blue or purple, and it's different. Oh, depending on how you look at it. 
Ink book, sun, blue and purple. Purple. Somebody looked at the color code on that. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was like blue emerald or something. Blue emerald purple. Assistant manager at a gas station, job never done. Spend the first six months, you're like, you must stay off your phone. Technically, you're not even supposed to have your phone in the store. Become assistant manager, you're like, you have to have a phone. Not only do you have to have a phone, but we'll pay you to have a phone. Somebody has to do it. Maybe one day I'll make YouTube millions. Full disclosure YouTube technically pays me. That being said, I have earned $25 within the last seven or so years. Okay, and with that being said, YouTube doesn't cut the check until you hit at least a hundred bucks. So, I've been sitting on that $25 for like seven years. So, you know, watch my videos. I apologize for the ads, but you know, it's, it's how it works. Do whatever you will with those. I don't really care, it's free country. Um, but preferably, you know, watch the videos. Maybe one day, there could be some revenue. I mean, I won't be living off this, surely. But, you know, right now, I'm building a new game rig. It's going to be awesome. And I'll be able to crank up the graphics while I stream. I won't have, like, a lag out like previous video. Which, you won't see because I deleted it. And that's fine. And... Finish line, yes. But new gaming rig, it's gonna be epic. This thing is a full tower. It's got vents on the top of it that you know kind of come up like a Lamborghini. It's gonna be liquid cooled. It's gonna be KB Lake. I'll have like 32 gigs of RAM. I'll have not a regular solid state drive. I don't even know what the fuck they're called, like M2 or something. I got a degree in this technology bullshit. I don't even know what the fuck this thing's called. But it's like a stick of gum. And it's incredibly fast. Uh, hard drive. I know. Oh. Oh. I swear, you need like a towel or a nappy. I'm thinking about that stuff. It's going to be great. But So yeah, watch these videos. And maybe I can you know crank that $25. I've been sitting there for seven years. Into a $100 check. That'd be great. It'll go into computer stuff. You'll be supporting the cause. I'll be able to stream more. Uh, you'll have me cussing at games. Because I get used to this shit. Uh, it's just a secondary dream of mine. And I love playing games. and I like cussing at games, especially when it ain't going very well. Right now, when my friends tell me, oh, I love this stuff, and then, you know, I can see how long you guys watch videos. You know, I love this stuff. Man. Watch it, man. You know, you're probably missing me cussing at some funny joke. Something great. You know, you know, right now, it's just me rambling. As I, you know, go kart my way through the championship. Take away from this purple dildo back there. And I make uh, Antonio Biacci my Biacci. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Sandra. 
I really need a swig of coffee right now, but this action's pretty intense. And it'll take me too long to get a swig of coffee. I'd rather not read lose this face. And Vivi, yeah, nice to see you. Love Vivi. Opinion alert. Anyways, yeah, the rig, the new rig, it's going to have, preferably, two 1070s in this a lot. The 1080 Ti just came out, which, you know, it doesn't have a price tag on, on the ad, which usually means if you have to ask, it's too much. But, you know, doing some research, 1070, pretty good price for the beef you get. Shit, you know, I want two of them. Two of them found to be better than one 1080, right? Well, 1080 right now is the go to card. If it has Terry Grooves talking about 1080, 1080, 1080, this guy's new and he's doing great. Yeah. It's hard to put down a guy when uh, he's just getting into it and I'm so excited. So he's doing great. That's how you learn. But yeah, right now I'm running a 960, which came out about this time last year. It was the new hot budget card. And it had all the performance and features of the high end cards. Probably minus a few tweaks or whatever, but. You know, for the $120 I paid for it, man, you're basically getting whatever the high-end card was last year. Fantastic. The only problem was getting it to fit into my Dell. This Dell's from like 2008. Yeah, that tells you what I'm running right there. It's got a uh, Core 2 Quad from 2008. Just before the i7s were released, you know, that tells you what I'm running right there. 8 gigs of RAM, you know. It's performance RAM, performance for what I've got it in there. It's got heat sinks on it, so it's pretty cool. Especially crammed into a mid tower with uh, no wire, man no cable management whatsoever built in. It's a wonder air flows through this thing. But yeah. I call this computer the Franken Bell because there's very little left of it originally. Motherboard, processor. That's really it. There might be a hard drive still left in there from the original. But, uh, yeah, I've got some sort of, uh, I think it's an Intel solid state drive on there. It runs a maximum of 6 gigs, but my motherboard only supports like 3, so I'm only sucking the maximum potential of my motherboard and processor. It's all about bottlenecks, they're everywhere. But yeah, man, this has been my gaming PC for all these years. I've kept up with it, and it's got a killer power supply in it, because, you know, I had to get the killer power supply for that giant ass card that technically doesn't even fit in there. The 960 is a full size card. Yeah. It's good stuff. Hey, I'm laughing at least. You have my way to go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm stuck in that same trap. Uh, dude, you're slow. God, what? Fun stuff. Pretty excited about building it here. You know, I've graduated from just buy one a long time ago. Because, you know, I was all about the Dells. And, you know, it was back in the day from, dude, you're getting a Dell. They're still pretty good. You can play some games on them and stuff, but they're not into your paying. Bleeding edge costs for not getting a bleeding edge gaming system. Not at all. Who's this? 
Oh, I got tagged in the post to show me some love here. can't speak from the zero calories version, but the stuff is pretty good. I live off of it when I'm sick. Five of five. Let's do this. Jesus, look at that track. Ireland. Republic of Ireland. Greenwood Cutting Circuit. I... He's from Ireland. I can talk like an Irish do an Irish call out. Hey, Jimmy Joe Johnson, you chunky, chunky bastard. You. I told you I'd fight you on Thursday. Diblish, I told you I'd fight you on Thursday, you chunky bastard. Yeah. Now I'm away. Oh my God, I'm here. Move. Really tightly wound Irish circuit, man. I got a headache looking at that map. This thing just turns in on itself. I don't even know where it comes out. Mercy. Nice little puzzle. Aww. So, anyways, life stories. Tomorrow I get to train a new guy. It's gonna be cool. He's apparently. A younger version of me. That should be a good thing. Cause, you know, I'm awesome. I'm not biased or anything, but you know, pretty sure I'm awesome. You get it, you see it. Ah, uh, yeah, so. I got a big closing day today. I like closing because I did it for like six months. Used to be a night out. So it's perfect for me. And you now you get promoted. Then you gotta get up with uh, the chickens. Not good for a night owl. But the job is less less physically demanding and very mentally demanding. But, you know, numbers everywhere. And not only are there numbers everywhere, but you gotta make those numbers things. So. Apparently, I'm at the very least okay though. But you know, it's in practice. We're pretty good with these numbers to dance. Halfway enjoyed myself. Somewhat better pay. Hours are better. So, you know, that's all good. But yeah, get to close tonight. It's gonna be a longer shift. Which is cool. And tomorrow, I might do some streaming. I might get to do some streaming tomorrow. Cause I have another clothing shift. It's much later. And I'll be training my new guy. Look forward to it. I just have to remember to let him do the stuff. So, it might actually suck for me because a lot of it's going to be just me hanging out, make sure he's doing okay. Because, you know, you got to train him right. And if, and if he is anything like me, you learn by doing, so make sure to let him do it, answer all the questions, just try to be a good manager. Yep. So that might actually kind of suck for me. But I'm off Sunday, so I can probably do some streaming Sunday. I promise not to do nothing but racing, you know, I might get some Resident Evil in there. Uh, I do play a little bit of Resident Evil off camera, and unfortunately, we missed some gold because I jumped out of my skin. I made a loud, girly noise. That would have been camera gold right there. So, I haven't played it since because I need to stream it and play that. So, I'm going to get anywhere on this YouTube shit. I need camera gold like that. 
and you know, push it to all your friends like check this out you must watch you must watch you must you must watch you have to watch it you have to watch it free country right you can go watch a PewDiePie if you want I've never actually seen a PewDiePie I just know of him apparently he's the top YouTube streamer never seen him Now we're done. One more race. You got a freaking rolling start. Oh, no Biachi. Ah, there he is. He's still number two. Where'd he go? I didn't see him. Must have skipped this one. Must be nice skipping a race and still being number two. Some people just have all the legs. Yes. Oh. Is this track reversed? Yikes. I think it's reversed. Even better. Get halfway used to something and change it. Yes. It's okay. Adapt and overcome. Oh my god. Oh my god. No bueno. So anyways. I'm open to suggestions. You know, if there are three of you that watch this. And are watching it this far into the video. You know, comments are good. You know, I occasionally have a bit of money to spend on games. I bought this one. Say, hey, you need to stream this game. I want to see you play this game. I want to see you make fun of the characters in this game. I want to see you jump out of your skin in this game. Or if any ideas like, you want my wife to do more videos with me? We'll be like, split the controls on something. That's, she loves doing that. That's cool. So, comments, suggestions, like buttons, you know the routine. You want me to cut out story time? Yeah. Like, they don't give a shit about you being in the Air Force for like three months. You know, I'm getting old, you know, I got all these stories. I could tell you about the Vaseline in the Air Force, but uh, we'll just leave that as a teaser. You only get that if you want more stories. I know it's a tempting teaser for Vaseline, right? What do you mean by Vaseline in the military? Oh, oh, oh. Is it a funny story? It's a fun story. <sighs> no cards, right? Too bad the, uh, Career mode starts out in freaking go karts, and now I'm be driving Indy cars or something. But due to the size of the track, these go karts are surprisingly fast paced, so at least it keeps somewhat entertaining. Put this go kart on the you know, full size track, and it'd be kind of dull. Could do free play, but you knowing that doesn't advance the career mode at all. I'm all about that career mode. Doing those fake fan tweets. Yeah, that's hot. I 
and that fake tweeters that shows up on the career page. Talks about they love my attitude. It's like, yeah, it's all good, man. So, okay. Almost over. Final lap. Yes. Fantastic go kart skill, right? Why not? Wow. I only messed up like 20 pounds. Pretty good. No more than three people in the team. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe that should be my uh, YouTube trademark thing. To like some piece of bad news and then I end it with, that's pretty good. Wow. We should see the other guys. What I did was pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. No more than three people were killed. That's pretty good. God, even my helmet has a finish flag on it. You won your first championship. Make sure to check your inbox, as you will no doubt receive new contract offers. You can also renew your contract with your current team and stay on for another season. I'll take the new team. Fran Aguiar. Okay. If you're not first, you're last, Fran Aguiar. Oh boy, a nice little video with a mouse in the way. Let's get rid of that. Part one, baby. Ooh. Champion. See that? Spark plugs. These are weird. It's like nuts and bolts. I don't know. Nuts and bolts. I don't know. Toy Craters! <laughs> Antonio Biacci. Made you my Biacci. Well, I think it's about time to wrap this up, folks. It's been, it's been real. Gold accolade. I only got like. Silver accolade last time. All right, what's this? Congratulations again, Thunderbolt. I think we're good. Good night, everybody.